let's talk about the first exercise. Okay. First exercise is this, and we can all do this together, whether you're pregnant or postpartum, whether you're day one or, or, or six weeks, we can all do this together. And if you've done it already, let's do it again, because it can never be done enough. I'm going to demonstrate on all fours. If you're comfy going on all fours, especially if you're pregnant, you will do this even better on all fours. So if you're able to do it, let's get on all fours. We are going to engage your abdominals. If you're pregnant, this is the best time to learn it. Why? Because you have the help of your baby and of, um, of, of gravity to pull your belly down. So the first thing I want you to do, and especially if you're after surgery, this might be painful. So please just relax your belly to the point where it's still pain-free. But everybody, your first step is relax your tummy. If you prefer to do this seated, I'm thinking of Oriana because she's not even quite two weeks. Oriana, you can do this sitting if on all fours is uncomfortable, okay, my friend? But let your tummy hang. Just let it hang. Guess what? That's exercise number one. Let your tummy hang. Just by a show of hands or like hands up. Who, who discovered that they're, they're sucking in their stomach this whole time? They actually had to actively let their stomach hang. I want to put my hand up. I was sucking it in the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Sam, thanks for, yeah. Thanks for saying that. So sometimes we walk around kind of sucking it in, but what I want you to do is oh, let it hang. Now, just let it hang. Don't worry about how you're breathing and just close your eyes and tell me, doesn't that feel relaxing? Don't you feel your pelvic floor just kind of let go. You might not have even known that your pelvic floor was gripping, whether you're pregnant or post-surgery, because when stuff is hard to do, like holding a pregnancy, like being afraid after a surgery, our muscles grip. And this relaxation is the first exercise. So day one, if you haven't done this, relax. Day Week six, if you haven't done this, Lauren, I'm thinking of you. Day six, if you haven't done this, relax. When you relax, here's another part that I want you to know. And this is a best kept secret, which shouldn't be. Therapists don't talk about what I'm about to tell you enough. When you relax your belly, that's directly connected to your pelvic floor. I'll say that again. When you relax your belly, that's directly related to your pelvic floor. So if anyone is having pelvic floor issues, like, oh, incontinence while I'm pregnant, okay? It could be straining so much to hold the weight of your baby in your body that it just needs to relax sometime. You need to chill, give it a break. This allows your pelvic floor to have a break. It might actually help the incontinence you're experiencing while pregnant. 